What's going on guys, it's Gino from Modern Accessory Review, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Magic Mouse 2 from Apple. I know you guys have definitely seen these before, and they've been out for quite some time now, like 4-5 to five years. So is it worth the $100, and does it actually get the job done? Let's find out in the video. Starting off with the build quality and design, this is obviously a good looking mouse. I have the space grey color here, but you can also get it in white. I personally got the space grey to go with my MacBook Pro. The design is very sleek and minimal thanks to Apple's designers, and the top of the mouse is made of high quality acrylic, which looks like glass. Now this acrylic does show smudges pretty heavily, but it's pretty easy to wipe off. The bottom of the mouse is made of high quality plastic which looks like metal. As you can see we also have the on off switch, sensor, and the Apple Lightning for charging the battery. And let me tell you this thing charges fast. 2 minutes of charging should give us 9 hours of use. But obviously you can't use the mouse while it's charging. We also got the traditional physical click on this mouse unlike the Magic Trackpad that was released at the same time as this one. I definitely like the traditional click, but it all comes down to personal preference. Another plus about this magic mouse is that it should last you a very long time. Even though I just got this mouse a couple days ago, I've been doing a ton of research and almost everyone says that it's lasted them a long time. This mouse is also 3.5 ounces which means it's extremely easy to move around if you're trying to get some quick work done. It's never fun to work with a mouse that's too heavy and takes a bit of effort to move around, so I was happy how light Apple designed this. We also have some cool features on this thing which includes a trackpad that allows you to scroll up and down and go to other pages from swiping on the front of the mouse. We can also edit the settings of the magic mouse which will allow you to enable or disable the scroll and zoom features. In terms of setting this thing up with your mouse, it's pretty straightforward. You can either pair with Bluetooth by turning the mouse on, which will automatically put the Magic Mouse into pairing mode, and then go into your Bluetooth settings, or you can connect the Lightning to USB cable, which will automatically pair it to your Mac. Now remember that in the newer MacBook Pros, we don't have a USB port, so you will have to pair the other way. But in the iMacs, you can pair it however you want. Both options will only take about a minute. So wrapping up the video, is the Magic Mouse worth its 100 bucks, and does it get the job done? I would say yes. This thing has been great to work with and I will be using it a lot more in the future. I really enjoyed the sleek design and high quality materials, and the overall feel of the mouse is great to work with. Even though this mouse has been out in the market for so long, its technology is still very much up to date and is even better than many others. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button and comment any thoughts you have below. I truly appreciate everyone who supports the channel by doing so. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.